Good afternoon. Welcome to Hartwood Turning in the Stable Studios to another Thursday Live. I don't know why I do this to myself. I've been busy all morning. Flat tire in the tractor. Been rushing in Belgium, I think, but I'm here now. Uh, this week is Witch Week. We've got some lovely uh, earworms in. Let's have a quick look at them. Prepare yourself, this could be scary. It's getting near Halloween. There, oh jeez. So we have uh, Terry from TJ Turney. Good afternoon. Who has, to, who has to get a credit for something we're going to do later, if we get that far. We have no, Mark okay. the gentleman, Wood Turner, who doesn't, get any who doesn't get any credit, he's just here to give me abuse. Pete from Twisted Trees. Hi, all. He's a, who, who's a really nice fellow mostly, but he's here to give me abuse too. Yep. And a lovely Joe. He's here to sign yeah. just in case we need some Yorkshire grit. Just to give everybody some audible abuse. Just, <laughs> just to abuse everybody audibly. Everybody. Mark. Just I think I've said it. He just can't, can he? <laughs> so, I've got a reputation to uphold. <laughs> so get in the background. Go on, get lost. There you go. <laughs> like, that gets rid of them, guys. <sighs> Whew, thank God. Oh, we just have to listen to them now. At least we don't have to watch them. Okay, Amy D'Angelo says, what a brilliant bunch of earworms. Amy. There you are. Amy, about... we love you, Amy. Thank you, Amy. You're gorgeous. So we, uh, you, Amy. I, made a, I, I made a witch I earlier see. this week. And this is, this is she. This is said witch. So this said witch, uh, everything is turned um, on the lathe. And then I'll let the demo. Apart from the handle of the... Uh, Called. So what we're going to try and do today is show you how we did that. <laughs> well, good luck, everyone. <laughs> good, luck. good luck with this, guys, because um, yesterday I tried to turn the witch's hat <laughs> and the, all three attempts went the bin and I gave up. So first and foremost, we're going to turn the cauldron. So I've got my Trusty little record per mini chuck, two inch mini chuck on the lathe. I've got this little piece of something. Yeah, no idea what it is. It's kind of open grain, but I would. But we shall see what happens. So we'll just pop this chuck. And I was going to say some of you guys could just let us know who's in. Yeah, you might as well make yourself useful, Beckett. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Such abuse has started yes. already. <laughs> yeah. You're wow. being long now, she gets through. Wow. Back. There. Bye, Joe. Um, right. First in was C3 Burps in. Then we got Mike Yu from Elminster, Chris Dodds, Malcolm Douglas, Joe at the French Turner, Trevor P. Hobby Turner, um, Copper Alwood Turning, Clive Rogerson, Robert Dolman. Gerard the French Turner, Robert Robertson, Michelle Higgins, Felicity WT, I flip, uh, Paul Hewton, Greasby Turner, Ivy Woodshed, Terry Bartlett, Amy DeAngelis, Just. Um, Rob C. Whip Turner. Hi, Rob. Jixie Shed. Gerard. No, I've said Gerard. Um, Circular Whip by Keith. Eric Winkler. Nick Castle. And that's it, I believe. Hello, good well. Good afternoon. Hello. Welcome along. Hello and welcome, everybody. everybody. Thank you guys for coming in. Appreciate it. So we're just going to try and turn a little bit of a cauldron here. We'll just start off by a little bead. David Nichols in. Or a, or a, a little bead. <laughs> it's the opposite. It's a cove. You know what? Clark. 
Clint at Wood Dancers is in as well. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for coming along. This is a nicer piece of wood than I tried to turn with yesterday. Because as with most of my pieces, when I practice them, I use paint. That lathe is making a terrible noise. There you go. Need a bit more speed, that's what we're on. Uh, I try to turn things. I uh, practice pieces. I uh, use pine a lot. Uh, you know what pine's like, guys. Sometimes just bits fly off it here and there. So. Hopefully we should get a bit better finish on this. Amy would like to know if your smock is called Smiley Wiley. Smiley Wiley. Uh, the smock has no name. Um, I don't really... I'm not into really naming things as such, except horses. Go, cool, Amy, I'll tell you what, that, that's brought back some memories. I don't know if anybody remembers, but in the 80s and 90s, Radio 1 used to do a roadshow. And one of the guys on the roadshow, the roadshow manager, Smiley Miley. Called Smiley Miley. Right. Yeah. Because the roadshow used to come to Butte. Yeah, they used to do a competition, didn't they? Yeah. How, how far was it from the last road show to this one? Yeah. We always and used to get... Miley, Miley knew the answer. Yeah. Depend, depending Bynes. on which way they... They either used to come from Westwood Ho to Bude or from Newquay to Bude. Gary Davis, Steve Wright, Dave Lee Travis, Simon Mayo, all the stars. Dave Lee Travis, my God. Joe Senior's been chucked out already. Again? <laughs> already? Five minutes, that. Not even five minutes. Seven Joe. minutes. Seven minutes and ten seconds. Seven Poor Joe. Oh, well, bye, she's Joe. She's at the right time, Joe. She's not backstage either, so. No, no she well, says she's staying in the chat. Okay. So, today's not about finishing, guys. I'm not really going to try and finish any of this. Today is just about the process. Yeah, that runs just a little bit big, so we'll take a little bit off the rim. And roll the rim over that way. Oops. Let's not try that again. Amy, Brian out. doesn't name things, he just labels them. I, I, yeah, I do, I do like <laughs> labels on things right enough, that's true. Do the labels have a name in? That was a bit of a... Well, the yeah, label maker does. does. The label maker does, and the shelf that the label maker sits on does. Does the label maker have a label maker label on it? I like yeah, things it to. Uh, I like things to be in the right place. And Mark Beckett doesn't help because he's the untidiest wood turner you have ever seen. No, I'm a normal wood turner. No, no, you're you, untidy. It's, it's you that's the freak of nature. <laughs> All the rest of us Alexander. are the Morning same. Break. Except you. Eric's asking if we can get a closer view. A close. Can you zoom in a bit? Oh, Close sorry. Can you zoom in, Brian? Yeah. 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 Okay, well, then. it looks to see the catches. All right, okay. I think, I think we need to start a GoFundMe page for Joe so that we can buy her a cheap laptop that isn't an Apple so she can <laughs> stay in the <laughs> chat. Jumping off. Well, no, then we'll have to listen to her singing every time. Every time. Yeah. That's true. <gasps> That's shocking. I need that. So I'll just Please. give it a quick rub. Oh, we don't want that. Put my new extractor on. Give me a word of quick rub. I bought a new extractor. I suspect I could build a one that would automatically detect when Yorkshire Grip was on the screen and kick her out at that point. Kick her out at that point. <laughs> that would be so funny. And bring her back in when you'd finished using it. Or even just automatically mute her microphone. Yeah, that would be yeah. even better. That would just be think she's singing perfect. <laughs> She'd be thinking she's singing to everybody and everybody got to say, well done, Joe. <laughs> no, yeah, you are, you are really, you are getting worse, you guys. I swear to God. Just say, check that's in the middle. Not quite down a tiny fraction. Keeping score. Joe is. She's already, <laughs> yeah, she's already sent me a, a threatening text. <laughs> I use the correction mark. Richard Feeling's just joined us, hello Richard. 
Hi, Richard. Welcome along, buddy. Really. Hi, Richard. I'm just plunging the uh, spindle gauge in and trying to get some depth. I'm going to have to reduce the size. This is too long. I'll just make it about there somewhere. It's better. How far in am I now? That'll be deep enough. Oops. Need to move the tool rest. Or the tailstock, sorry. And I've just pressed the button with my hip again. Robo Robertson. <laughs> <laughs> I do it all the time now. Do you want to go tailstock camera? Tailstock camera. That do. I need a bit more speed, I think. Can't see now. Oh, it's a joke. Sure. Woodworm Paul's just joined us. Hello, Woodworm Paul. Hi, Paul. Is that, along, tail, is that tailstock cam or a side cam? That's tailstock cam. Can you go to side cam, please? Shoulder and noise. Oh, That's what? better. Yeah. <coughs> Hi, Paul. David Nichols says that Brian needs an extractor like the one Rubble has. It sucked up one of his chisels. Well, Brian fired up his new extractor yesterday, and there was a <laughs> plastic bag that catches the... Uh, the wasn't the, the chipping shaving. and it just stuck the plastic shaving and just stuck the plastic bag straight up and down the pipe. <laughs> yep. it. Turn yourself inside out. Turn it in. <laughs> He's looking for a new way now. It's so powerful. Did you bring a blue blue drum down from the from the yard? You talking to me there, Mark? Hmm. Hey, yeah, I was talking to you. Oops, I've just, I've just broken my lamp. Hold on a second, guys. My cheap Ikea lamp just fell apart. That's okay. Michael Howes just joined us. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. Michael. I'm just trying to get down there this light morning with Michael. He made me a cracking yeah. cup of tea and then sold me a lovely wooden blank. Old blank. Good man. Don't yeah, get that in many shops. Nice, nice piece of wood. You don't get that kind of treatment in many shops, do you? So, oh, brilliant it was. Yeah. So, to be, so to be truthful, guys, we're not really too worried about the inside of this because... Let me cover it up. That, we won't disguise it anyway. So that'll do for the hollowing. We'll sand it in a minute. I'm just going to reduce the size of this base a little bit. I'm afraid. Because I kind of want it more round. It's kind of long at the minute. But it should be kind of squat and roundish. So we'll just we'll turn the rain a bit more here. Richard Phelan's asking, which extractor did you buy, Brian? Um, it is. The... Ah, Record power. Record power CGV 286-4 2000 watt compact extractor. So it's the one with a twin motor on it, but currently it's just running there with, it just drips some of that shavings in there, you'll see it disappearing in there, most of it. That's running Go with one camera. more. Overhead again. So one more uh, is adequate for doing um, sanding and stuff. But if I really wanted to make this like a chip extractor, I switch both mo motors on. And near suck the lathe out through the wall. <laughs> Gerard the French Turner is asking, what is the name of the thingamy bob at the end of the hose for extraction? This? Yeah. That's just, uh, it's just a wide mouth fitting and you can buy them from anywhere. Riker Power do them, Axminster do them. It's just as a four inch fitting here on the end and it just spreads itself out. There we go, that's a bit better looking. Jennifer's Craft and Creations is in. Hello, Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer's Craft and Creations. 
Well, welcome aboard, Gert. Jennifer, Hi, Jennifer. Crafts and Creations sent me a new sticker. Um, just give Hello. me just give me ten seconds, One guys. Second. Hello and from Glenn of Yorkshire Gret. I will be. Hi, Glenn. Two seconds. Hi, Glenn. Hi, Glenn. I got to say, folks, if um, anybody's in Devon and Cornwall and they want ball blanks or spindle blanks, get in touch with Michael. He will treat you fine. I promise you. But you don't all get a cup of tea if you turn up this get together. No, you don't all get a cup of tea. It's because yeah, I'm special. It's because I'm special. We know you're special. <laughs> special needs. Special needs. <laughs> I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Just when Jennifer came in, she reminded me I got this nice sticker on the in the post this morning nice. from oh, Jennifer's nice. craft creations. It's a beautiful bit of artwork, I have to say. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Well to do that. Get you a yeah, they're beautiful stickers. Sticker in the post. Uh, Richard well. asked, "Did you buy your dust extractor from the woodshed?" I did. So Jennifer's Craft and Creations can replace that little smiley face just right Yeah. Straight over the top of Mark and Jennifer Wood Turners. There you go, Jennifer. I'll stick it around here. Can't see it. Can't, can't see it. There's that. Right there. Oh, there, um, well, there it is. You can now. Your hammer's in Michael, the can I, Michael Howell, can I put your Facebook link on this chat? Just tell me yes or no, please. Right, just give us a quick little bit of a sand, guys. As I said, I'm not too worried about the sanding and stuff today. I'm just roughly doing this to let you see how it goes. I'm glad that Glenn's come into the chat because with Joe being um, muted to the rest of us, Glenn can let us know if she does actually sing. Yeah. Oh, and he'll let us know. <laughs> there you go, Malcolm. There's, um, there's a way to contact Michael. Or anybody so, else who wants to contact that's, that's all right for you folks in Bude. Or down in the southeast of the south south shredded wheat southwest of the country. That's uh, that's one of them things I can never remember, which is east and which is west. So I'll have to say never eat shredded wheat. Yeah. And that reminds me of where east and west are. You ever get them kind of mental blocks when you can't can't remember a word or Yeah. The problem is it's happening more and more now. <laughs> yeah. I remember a similar formula for working out Ohm's law. Yep. Go on then. That's... Well it's uh because it's equations, it's uh is it, is it a bit rude? Of... Well no, it just says Vera is, which is yep. false versus amps. So at the top. And the division line and underneath is a V for voltage. Here it is, Randy. Sorry, resistance. And the other equation is where is Vera? <laughs> Which is watts. Watts, yeah. Where's um, Vera? Yeah. Divided by volts. Very good, Derek. I taught that when I was about, well, when I first did my apprenticeship when I was 16. Never forgot it. No, they kind of think sticking your head, don't they? Yeah. Good old mnemonics, that's what they're called. Mm -hmm. That was 180. Ben in, get a little Ben. Hi, Ben. He says, hello, you smelly lot. Smelly lot. <laughs> smelly lot, Ben. <laughs> yeah, you may be right there, Ben. There we go. And the what? A little bit of sanding sealer on that quickly. Funny, I always remember, because uh, I grew up, first 10 years, I grew up in the States, Holmes is the way to remember the names of the Great Lakes. H-O-M-E-S. Okay. We're on Ontario, Michigan, Erie, and Superior. And I still remember that. Completely useless piece of information. Yeah, have you been to Lost. all of them? 
Yes. I haven't. Maybe one day. I've Lord. swam in swam in one of them, Lake Superior. Sailed on a couple of them. I've oh, been to the shores. Shores of all of them. I just threw something on the floor there because I thought the, the bin was there, but I've remembered I'd moved the bin. Glenn so says Joe's, there's no red. So Joe's in the chat, isn't she? Mm. There you go, Joe, just for you. And Glenn says let us know that she does sing. Yeah. Glenn says there's no red port left in the Green Star Bowl. And for some reason, Clive Rogerstone still remembers some old Highlanders carry a haggis until old age. Have you got a haggis under your arm anywhere? Yeah, no. No, because no, no. Brian's already reached old age, so he's dropped his haggis. Of course, yes, yeah, he dropped his haggis. Yeah. Dropped my haggis a long time ago, I think. <laughs> Once you get to 85, you're allowed to drop it. <laughs> Is that a euphemism? I dropped my haggis. <laughs> <laughs> Ben says, the way I remember pi is sine, sine, cosine, sine, 3.14159. Oh. Well done, Ben. It works. You're just showing off there, I think. Right, Crystal's so... Crystal's asking, did I be in any of them? No. That's a little cauldron, guys, basically. Just turn the speed up there. Give that a quick... Yeah, 50 Last. watching, Brian. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everybody, for coming in and saying hello to a nutcase. That's Mark I'm talking about. This is quoting Joe here. Hands that feel pity can be soft as your face. Yeah, you almost said it's that with a bit of a lyric in your voice there, Terry. You nearly gritty. sang that. <laughs> he was singing that. I quoted Joe there. Now, Come Glenn's back, Joe, his, what left of hair he got out. There we go. So say I'm not going to finish that. I'll just leave that the way it is now, guys, because I need to move on a bit. Uh, just part that off. <laughs> no. Yeah, Joe sang. Flynn's confirmed it. <laughs> just, 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 my ears. That, that's me in the doghouse again, then, is it? Because <laughs> Joe sang. So we'll just part this off with a tin part and tool from Record Power. And I'm going to part it off far my fence so as you put put three little feet on it, which is probably about there somewhere. A bit more speed. Let's make a little relief cut there. You can see that all right. Eh? Oh, no, you can't. Overhead. So much for the earworms doing their job. Or just leaving well, you. We thought we thought you were going to go. We were going for the arty look. Mm. Yeah. I you know what I thought? Man. Both, both the strata fans and have it disappeared down the hood. Yeah, that's why I moved it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, Switch that off. Take that out of the way. So Terry one little says, cauldron. Has Joe lost her voice or have you lot chucked her out again? Oh, well, she Sorry. fell out herself. Sorry. She fell out herself. There's something wrong with her. Well, I just used my little belt cheese. sander just to finish the bottom of that off. So there it is, one little cauldron. It needs three little feet put in the bottom. You don't really want me to show you how to make feet, do you? I don't think so. Nah. Spiky, pointy feet. I think you'll manage to work that out all by yourself. I work on it. I can if you wish. So we'll save that little bit of timber for later. Remove said chuck. Turn that extractor off. It's a real noisy thing today. I need to get the little extension hoses that come from the top. So uh, silence, silencer hoses. Now you just vent them outside, and apparently it takes all the noise outside. Oh, please, my neighbours, won't it? <laughs> Screw that chuck up there out of the way, and bring the SC4 chuck in. The reason I screw the chuck on with using the turn handle is because if I forget to take that thing out, 
and if you just screw this chuck on, you might try and Start turn your lathe on with that still in it. So I always take it. Oh god, can't get it off now. <laughs> just <Getting> chucky. <clears throat> friend Jamin's got a very serious question. That'll be that'll be a first. He said, why are my soft-boiled eggs watery in the white area, yet the yolk is overcooked and not that runny? You cook them in a microwave or what? <clears throat> so if you take this little locking device out, put it in a magnetic tray on the side, and then just turn the chuck on, and you should never spin your chuck up anyway, because it just it locks on too tight. Now, next piece of wood. This piece. <laughs> I always do it different to that. Do you? I always lock my chuck in place and then it can't tighten it anymore it. when I turn the lathe on. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I always tighten it up with a, a good knock. But a loose chuck will, will tighten when you start turning. And stretch the threads as well. Should do. Should do anyway. Back on the face. But it's, it's hard up against the, the face there, so it is, turn, it is yeah. tight. That's good. It's not like it's uh, hanging there loose, guys. It's the way I do it. It's not necessarily right or wrong or whatever, but it's the way I do it. Oh, that's exactly. Yeah, I mean. Well, everybody has their own little shortcuts and reminders or whatever. I'm just pointing out the one that I have. It's because I'm quite new to this late and I never had that pin before, I developed and try to develop that little habit. Thanks, because oh, one of the lasers oh, I learned oh, on was an old record power that uh, didn't have a spindle lock of any sort. Right. So you had to be very careful where you put your chuck on or you'd never get the damn thing off again. Yeah. There's a lot of people in the chat over the course of time have said they can't get it off. And on Facebook, and how do you get them off? So that's that nice and tight. Yeah, some put a bit of wood in the jaws and give it a, whole, it's a bit of a dunk. That sometimes works. No. Change onto a bigger tool rest. Amy says, it's a rolling <clears throat> pin. <laughs> no, not quite. Clive Rogers has um, replied to Ben and said, you're probably not using Delia's method. But oh. Gerard's in the chat. He should be able to tell Ben how to cook a proper boiled egg. Soft boiled egg, yeah. Right, so I've got this mark there. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see the marks okay there? Just about. Yeah. There's a shaded end at this end, that's the part and offline. So don't cut any of that. With the, this uh, part here, which is the which is hat. This is the ram. Another shaded part, don't cut that yet. This is the head from there to there. So there's a center line, so to help me when I'm trying to operate this. Ski you. So we'll turn that on. Make sure everything's tight. Give that a quick. Amy's asked, why did you Thank change you. chucks, Brian? Um, oh, okay. The chucks are... This chuck is only small. It's only two, two and a half inches. So it's great for small stuff. But this is a bit heavier piece of wood, so this is a, a four-inch chuck. And that's the only reason. Just a, just, There's a, just a difference in size and the holding capability. Some of us have to change big. jewels, but Brian just has a chuck for every set. That's it. <laughs> Gerard well, has the perfect answer. <laughs> he says, I don't do this. This is the commies job. I am above this. Gerard doesn't know how to boil eggs. He doesn't Gerard, boil eggs. Gerard doesn't know how to boil eggs. It's beneath him. <laughs> Good answer. Just a, just a little V cut there, just on either side of the what will be the rim of the hat. And that's the, this is the head, and basically this is the waistline. So let's try and do something. Um, let's I take some of this off. Nah, well, I'll get into trouble anyway because there is absolutely no doubt I'll be doing it wrong. But what I've learned over the last sort of few weeks watching Robbo, and particularly watching Terry. If you watch Terry, guys, it's just, it's like poetry in motion, basically. He just, like he doesn't rush anything. Yeah. It's all practice. Yep. 
Can I give you a, a little hint there, Brian? Yes, Matt. Appreciate that. Sure at the angle you want the taper. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. That's a good Terry idea. Is, Terry is definitely one of the best best exponents of the skew work we've got on YouTube at the moment. He is indeed. I have to agree. There are lots, but there I mean, we don't want to, group here, we don't want to agree, do we, Brian? But we have no, not usually, no. Bunch of bitch. Sometimes you have to bite bitch. the bullet and say, mm, "Yeah, okay." Pains us to say it, but he is one of the best. No, I can't get a catch at all. Might be using the heel too much here. That's a better shaving now, rather than... What speed are you going? Um, 1,250. Flat out, 2, buddy. Flat, Flat out. out. 2,000, at least. Better cut. Okay, so that's... Uh, <laughs> Benjamin said, Terry, you'll be all big-headed now. And might actually reach four foot. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Ben. <coughs> I you totally might, be able, ben. might be able to reach the door handle. <laughs> actually, we're doing doing poor old Pete a bit of a disservice as well because Pete's a bit of a master Pete's with his gear as well. So is Rob. He's every bit as good. Exactly. So basically, like I only need to go about the there. So we'll just take a bit off that. Yeah, well, I would do V cuts, Brian, right down to where you want to be. Okay, mate. I'll give you some room then. Just keep cutting back to the tail stock. As Robert points out, he has to make money. It's uh, his turn in, so that's why he has to work quick, like Steve Jones. Yes, yeah, right. Sorry about the gaps because the key's stuck. <laughs> Whoops. That's a catch. That was a catch. Yeah. That was a catch because you were rushing. Yeah. Yep. And you let the point get in. Keep the point away. Count the ten. That's just what I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm doing. If I'm it's just going um, now. If it's really called it, then clean that up. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have a look now. I'll go start you lost your V above the brim. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. Design change. A bit smaller. Design change. It's going to have to be a smaller uh, patch. You're rushing. Yeah, take your time. For all afternoon. Robert was just put, sorry about caps. All in caps. Key stuff. That's the caps lock key. <laughs> What did he say? He's pressed the camera lock key and it's stuck. All right, okay. That's all right, Robo. No more yet. Oh, I made a mess of that. Come out of that. Rub the bevel, pick up the cut. Right. Take your time. Thing is, you're starting it with the bevel not not there because you got yeah. an end. And you want to come the other way. I showed you that it's for small pieces that you can do that with. There we go. Right now, what I would do next is I would cut the top half of my brim. All right. With a, with a V cut down towards the brim. So you get to the right depth, then you know what you've got to take off. <clears throat> you know what's going on here, guys? I'm afraid of this because it's going so fast now. Well, turn yeah. it down if you can. You don't want to. Turn it down. It's just tool action. Do you want Mark to do a diagram? 
<laughs> Going back to uh, Robbo's keyboard being stuck in caps, Christos says, Robbo, Brian is used to you shouting at him. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to slow this down a bit, guys. Yeah. You may not better get into there with a. Yeah, I was thinking that. Not going to get in with the skew. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change, turn that around just a little bit. And I'm going to change the spindle gauge. And just take this off the spindle gauge. Another tip with uh, cutting tapers with a skew is, depending on access, sometimes it's easier to cut steps into the wood. Mm. And then... Uh, I just peel the edges off, off those. Yeah. Sometimes. I don't always follow my own advice, so don't listen to me. None of us do. <laughs> <laughs> None of us do. Well, that's why it's good to have you guys in the background, because... They, they, these are little pearls of wisdom that if you're just in your workshop by yourself, you'd never get them. You know, you'd never learn anything. You just can continually make the same mistakes over and over again. So if there's somebody out there who uh, can give you a little bit of guidance, all the better, eh? Right, so I want this to be a little bit concave rather than convex. So we'll just go from here. And take a little bit more out of that. So the tool's going down there, I'm just lifting my hand and bringing my hand back in towards the lathe. I'm swinging my hips back towards the lathe, keep the tool attached to my body. Start to look a bit more like a witch's hat. Because he's uh, listening, but he can't keep up with the chat. I'm That's quite happy with that. To edit, manage a child, and watch this at the same time. But if you'd listened to my advice and bought Velcro for the wall, you'll just stick mm. to the child to the wall. No problem. Yeah. Man. That's yeah. it. Absolutely. Or just put the child down. Don't worry about it. Just carry on watching. Well, yeah, you just put the child on the wall with Velcro suit on. Yeah, job solved. Job solved. Yeah. yeah. You can put earphones on, turn them up a bit so you don't hear the child screaming. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> Top parenting tips. <laughs> Jean, Jean ages in. Hi, Jean. Jean. So uh, there was about the size of the head. Colin has joined as well. Right there, by the side of the head. Yeah, change your tool rest now. Not doing tape anymore. Yes, Pete. <laughs> so, uh, just put a little line in there just so you can see. Now, I'll put it in my pencil. So, that's roughly the middle of the head there. Right there somewhere. Now, there's two lines. Genius, Brian. I'll just get rid of that first line now. What wizardry by Colin has joined. Hi, Colin. How you doing, buddy? Have to Back in a minute, guys. We'll get the door. All right, man. I'll be the postman. Major delivery. 
it just looks a bit like a clown at the moment. <laughs> no comment. I'd love to make the head a whole lot smaller than it is. The fan side this hot. Go on, Terry, tell him what you told me to do for the head. Yeah. Uh, Brian? Yeah. Have you, have you, will your skew chisel fit between? Just about to find out, Terry. Yeah, just straight down. Just, that's it. Just peel it straight. Not, don't go down at an angle. Peel it straight. Straight. Right. Are you going down at an angle? Brian? Stop. What? You want, the top to half, Brian. you want the top half of the head to be parallel yeah, with the tool rest? Top half of the head, we follow the That's tool. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you look, if you look at somebody's head, it goes straight up into the app. Then when you've got a round chin at the bottom, it doesn't go up in a point. You're still going at an angle. Turn, turn so the skew over. So you want this ninety degrees here? Yes. Turn the skew over. Yep. Turn the skew over. the head down to the width of the the width. All the way straight, then turn the chin. So you're going to do a half bead at the bottom for the chin. Yeah, that's all. The rest of it's going to be parallel. No, you're going to turn run your left. Turn your skew over. That's that's the thing now. Now turn the skew over and do what? Straight in. Make it make it straight. Make it all one side. It comes from from the hat to the to the transition what? point. Straight. Straight. You put a Just hat on. Just plunge in now. Your cheeks come straight down. Your head comes straight oh, down. You only I get feel, a chin afterwards. I feel, I feel so a drawing coming there, off. Then, is that what you mean? Just flatten head, it out. Just, just make it parallel. All the way down. Parallel. 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 Keep going. 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 Is this what you mean here, Terry? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Brian. Yeah. Straight. Look at my drawing. <laughs> right. That'll do. Stop. 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 Right. Now turn a chin. Half oh, wait a minute. I get rid of that. Yeah, half bead now. <laughs> you go a bit further back up. If you can get the skew in there. You may not get it in, actually. Don't get a catch, boy. Get that point bit. Right, there Brian. Right, more get around in your way. Have a look. Yep. Mark's done you a diagram. I've done you a drawing. I'm not looking, I'm not looking at a diagram. Go away. <laughs> Don't go that way. <laughs> spot, spot. Now, right over. Nice bead. Now, right over. Right over, right over, right over. Tight, tight. Keep going. There. Now, the head fits up in the hat, look. Well, I just had an Amazon delivery of... Uh, so it does. I said granddaughter's it Christmas good. present. So, that's where yeah, we started. Yeah. I'll see what you mean, Terry. This needs to be a bit okay. straighter, too. Yeah. Well, if I just tidy that up there... That's you don't have looking. a round head with a hat sitting on top, do you? You have a half a head, and the rest what? of the head goes up into the hat. Well, you do if it's me, it's turning it. <laughs> we should buy a bigger hat. Buy a bigger hat, yeah. There you go. That looks quite a bit better. Is everybody in the chat agreeing with that? That looks a whole lot better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Robert, Robert Copper, 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 Copper. Question. Brian, I'm recognising a pattern here. Yeah. Why are you listening to those two? <laughs> well, it was actually it was actually Terry and, and Mark this time, because uh, it's usually Pete and, and Mark that lead me out into trouble. That looks aesthetically a lot better, Brian. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just going to bring that, that shoulder into there and make a little bit of a neck. Because yeah, you want a bit of a neck. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put a scarf on it, so just do a little cove there. A mm -hmm. little delicate neck. So just it's allow me to... to this figure, but when I did my witch, I looked up how to draw a human body. Mm -hmm. He did not, did he? 
women are seven heads high. Yeah. So whatever the height of your head is, the body's and the head is seven heads high. That means that means you've got to get seven women's that, heads and stand them on top. Is, is that not just everybody? Is that not just humans in particular? This is um for women. Men are eight heads high. Oh are they? Um and Let me just remove that heart a little bit there. Shoulders mm -hmm. are two heads width. And it breaks it work into little circles so you can scale it out. Look it up on the yeah, internet. This, this, this is a bit of a cartoon, but you'll be on it. Well, yeah. Chris Dodds has got it right, though. He said this is like listening to my wife. Do this. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> yeah, we thought that, Chris. That's, that's why she's your wife. Yeah, that'll do. It's funny, not uh, a scarf to go in there. My wife no. uh, says quite a lot, but mostly I just hear yes, dear. <laughs> Whatever you yeah. want. Dear. That's funny. I have one of them. I have one of them too. You just, you just pick the colour, dear. Three years later, still waiting. Mm -hmm. Robert says, uh, Rob CP says he's nearly eight heads wide. <laughs> <laughs> what a Rob. So we're going to have this funny anatomical feature that uh, kind of sticks out in front, which shall remain nameless for now. See, this is an afternoon show. Yeah, you don't want to make a boob on this live, do you? No. No, oh, for sake. <laughs> Why is leg? I think I need more. I think I need more of a waist. What do you think? Yeah, a little bit more. A bit portly, I was. So, bring it down here a bit. A little bit more. Oh, Colin. Would Wizardry be by Colin, who's... Um, had his Facebook cloned, and there's lots of friendship requests going out from him. Yeah, if you get a friend request from Colin at the moment. Um, yeah. ignore it. Ignore it. Nobody wants to be your friend anyway, Colin, so they won't bother. Oh, oh. that's harsh. Harsh, Daddy. Harsh, Daddy. Jesus. If you think, if you think he might be genuine, go and have a look at the profile before you accept the friend. Yeah, yeah. Well, I would messenger Colin just to say. Did you friend? Uh, what well, asking for a friend yeah. request? That's what if I you're if you if he's already on your friends list, don't accept a second one. Yeah, it's really as simple as that. More Valley Makers just joined us. Hello, Dave. He appears yeah. to have tuned in into Stereotypes R Us channel. That's correct, Dave. Oh right, look at that now. Robo says you should tighten the corset. Is that on the thing he's turning, Rubble, or his? <laughs> of course not. What are you trying to say, Rubble? Must be the Dolly Parton witch, says Trevor. There we go. Spindle roughing gouge to the rest of it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Terry. Or scooters. Exactly what was in my head. Now I'm staying away from the screen. So. Yeah, Brian. I'm looking. <laughs> Hold on a second. Just leave that there, Beckett. Just put that back up, Beckett. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I think that's really good. I mean, you get, know. Off. get off, Beckett. It's like a Canadian Mountie. <laughs> Canadian Mountie. Oh, it's the God. <gasps> oh, he's getting more into the bell. He's Andy. Sorry, he's late. I'm going to wait for Rob CP's analysis on that drawing. He's, he's a proper ben, artist. Ben Jamis is asking, Brian, does the witch have a large bust, then? Well, I don't know, does she? You tell me. Affirmative. Well, it depends on what you're Woodwork learner's joint. Hi, Woodwork. Well, let's make it a little bit smaller. 
themselves, all right? Time you carve them properly. I don't know why. I don't know why. I, why I didn't use this tool for this? <laughs> Neither do we. You know, a lot of people underestimate that spindle roughing gouge. You can do a lot with it, and if you angle the the bevel properly, mm. you can get a really nice finish. Use it like a skew. Yeah. Turn it upside yeah. down. Use it like a skew. Thank you, Rob CP. See, a man with taste and a good eye for fantastic art. Question, Rob. <laughs> How much is Mark paying you? Yeah, he needs to go to Specsavers. Yeah, he should have, should have been a Specsaver. Looks like a happy scout, says Robbo. Rob CP's guide dog is a very happy dog. So, <laughs> it's a ranger guide. Have to watch you don't get a catch down here now. Yeah, watch that wing, yeah. Yeah, just keep an eye on the wing. I was watching don't, the wing. Don't go uphill. You could use a bull gauge. You could use a bull gauge. You got cut back wing. Yeah, fine. Calm yeah, yourself. You can use a Calm yourself. Just, yeah. Fix that a little bit. Fix that a little bit. And take that one in a bit. Now Luke. I actually have one spindle roughing gouge which I've brought the wings back. Mm. Only one and a half millimeters or so. But just that little bit. Just it allows you to do uh, some more detailing Whoosh. with it. So it's like a like a European SRG then. Yeah. It's not quite as extreme as that, but it's I say it's just a little bit of relief on the wing just to uh, allow it to get into the tighter places. That feels very rough down that bottom end. I'll need to have a look at that. I have to finish that half, yeah. The wood dude's in. Hi, Stephen. Hello, yeah. Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Stephen mate. That fast. Up? Was stunning. Well, that's good, wasn't it? Wasn't Bloody it? stunning. Man's a genius. Stop it. You're making us all look, you're making us all look really bad. <laughs> you're making us all look just ordinary. Yeah. Which is good. Because that's certainly what I am, ordinary. Rob CP saying Mark sent sent me a coal and way skew chisel. Of okay. which Rob from Copper Owl says, watch out, Rob, there may be a catch. <laughs> there may be a catch is right on the road. No, I That's believe that every skew chisel made, they manufacture them with um, two and a half thousand ca catches in them. Yeah, once you've wasted them. If you use them and get rid of those two and a half thousand catches, you'll never get any more. And Stephen says, thanks, guys. I'll start making garden dibbers. Mm. As long as you put the love into it, Stephen, no problem. Still a long way to go. <laughs> so then you've got to resize the head, the hat, the body. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm all right. I just, uh, it's just a tiny little bit just to get this little neck in it. So I'll just take it off. It'll be fine. Well, but Lerner says, will that nice witch be finished by 3 p.m. as he needs to go to the docks? Yep. It'll be finished as it's going to be anyway. Witch dock. The <laughs> witch dock. I 
Right, still have a little bit of a kink on that rim. Which is annoying. Where we are. Looks right from where we are. Yeah. It's only a practice it's piece. My house. It's only a little practice piece anyway. I'm not too worried about that. Let's have a look at this end. It's okay. Got a little rub that way. It's fine. Just a tiny little nick over there. But I'm not going to worry about it now. <laughs> when she was flying. Just going to take the, the hat down to a point now. Lose the tool, uh, tail, tail stock. And cut it off with a skew. Oh, I'll just cut it off with us. That'll be fine. Off you pop. Right. Perfect. Hello. <coughs> <coughs> One eighty paper. I've left that extra little rim in the heart there because I want to decorate that. Bless Amy. Bless. <laughs> Oops. I need two forty grit. What is he missing? Uh, Amy's just sent me a pri private message and I can't repeat it, but it's very funny. <laughs> Chris Bailey Woodworks just joined in on Chris. <laughs> Amy sent you a private message. <laughs> yeah, bless her. <laughs> you can tell us later, Mark. I tried to walk and say, I didn't know you were blonde, Amy. That's shocking. <laughs> She's going to kick my ass for that. I would suggest that, should be a, that would be a fair thing to do. <laughs> right, I'm just going to put two lines on this hat. Oh. <clears throat> so, Mark, you're on another list now. I always made Amy's list, I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not going to Australia for you. So if I just... Uh, go to Australia, Put a couple of little lines in there. Add a bond line. Can't go to Australia. 99% of the wildlife in Australia wants to kill you. Okay. <laughs> what was the other 110%. What was the other 1% want to do? No, the other, the other uh, percentage is for eating. Just tied up them little marks there. I'll be fine. Chris from Barry Woodworks is in. Mm. Hi, Chris. Right. <coughs> Let's just part this off me. Amy says, sleep with one eye open, Beckett. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where have I held that before? As long as Amy and Joe don't get together. That would be, that would be a problem. And Michelle. I've already had a kick. And <laughs> Michael McEwen is in. Hello, Michael. Oh, yeah. Um, well, just a work, slight learn. undercut underneath. Good work, learners, asking, Mark, are horses high or low on the danger list? High. Very high. Well, there's actually a QI question. What's the 
most dangerous animal in Australia based on the number of um, fatalities amongst humans it causes. Crocodiles. It it's a horse. All right. Nope, a horse. It would keep falling off. I'm not going to pack that off all the way. I'm just going to sort it off. So I'll use my cheap Japanese pull saw. If that wraith ever stops. There we go. I got one of those. Have all these finest or Lidl's finest? Lidl, Lidl yeah. or whatever you call it. Lidl, Lidl. Lidl. Somebody did live now. No doubt. Somebody did. Just finished the bottom off. There's a little bit of sandpaper I had in my hand a minute ago. There it is. Just rub the edge. Just give the head, take the sharp edges off. We can finish that better later. <laughs> See, it's not about finishing. Right, let's go over here. Uh, that's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> that's <was> quick. <coughs> Excuse the moving camera. Let's go over here. So, I cheated a lot of my guys. I made the arms earlier. If anybody doesn't know how to make arms, so look, that's a little arm. It's just uh, turn the drumstick, basically, as thin as you like. So, so you got kind of got to make it so it looks like something's supposed to be there. So all I did was turn the little cylinder, tapered it down to the end, and put a, a, like a drumstick ball on the end. Cut it off at the angle you want, turn it around, stick it back on again. And that's kind of how you make the angle for the elbow. Sanded, glued in, it's just super glued in, and I've sanded the, the elbow. Sort of right. That makes sense? To everybody? Hope so. Makes sense to me. So, I need a pencil now. So ben I just need to work it for me. Go ahead. Ben oh, Jammer says, Joe, if you, really, if you really want to punish Mark, Time to a chair, then just sing to him for hours on end. I was going to say, there's things in the Geneva Convention against that kind of cruelty. There is, I. It's uh, the torture right. So uh, you need to look at uh, this stage. You need to look if you. This is going to be painted black, by the way, guys. So really, um, I'm going to use intrinsic colours, and then I'm going to use some uh, intrinsic colour black, or I might even go with um, what do you call that? Purple colour. Not purple, plum. That's what it's called. No, it's plum. plum I'm going to, I'm going to go with plum, and then I'm going to use a little bit of a um, couple of coats of lacquer, and then I'm going to use some uh, Joe Sonia iridescent paints, just on the on the sort of dress area, if you like, and I'll add some swirls in it to to make it sort of come down like this, make brush strokes like this, to make it look like it's moving. Rob was going to bed. He's saying good night. Good night, Robert. Good night, Robert. So Robert. we have we need to pick the the face because we're leaving the face um, plain. So I quite like this area for the face here. So I'm going to use that. So I need to mark the area for the two arms. So somewhere about there. And go to the other side and try and get that kind of level. Put there. I'm just going to draw a little hole down there. I can hear my dogs barking. So this is a, a one and a half mile drill bit. Just draw a little hole there. And do the same on this side. Give that a quick rub with that said little bit of sandpaper. If I can find it again. Oh, there it is on the floor. Find it. Dave, more Mally Maker's gone back to the lathe. Hi, Dave. I'll just give that a little rub. Cheers. And that a little rub. Cheers, Dave. And I've already made a little tenon in here. Basically, it's a cocktail stick. Instant, instant dowels. 
And that just, that just fits in there. Now, that doesn't quite fit. If you have a look at that, doesn't it doesn't actually quite fit. So, to make it fit, we just use a little Dremel. And we'll just carve some more out of that. I tried to get ahead of the game a little bit. So normally you wouldn't put your dowels until it was actually fed. That's cool. Dowels a little fresh too long. Chop them off. There we go. That's better. Give that a quick rub. Those little wooden pins, did you turn those? No, they're cocktail sticks, Mark. Oh, okay. You could, turn them, you could turn them if you wanted to, but the cocktail sticks just as handy. <clears throat> yep. And but, do it cheap. Case, I've got a box of 100 case, yeah. here, which I paid less than a quid for, so. In this case, you're just trying to get a nice, get a tidy fit. So it looks like it's part of the... The uh, the witch itself, but it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Nope. Just a little bit more on there. Which will better us? We'll do this one, and we'll just set it in place. Now this one needs a broom. Oh, I haven't needed the broom yet. Let's use the one I made earlier. I'll make you a broom in a minute. Have we got plenty of time, guys? Yeah, we're going to be done in an hour. All right, okay. So I can make a broom in a minute. I'll make a broom shortly. So this, his hand holds the broom. So really what we need to do is just make a little, kind of set it so it's in the right place. And then I'll just mark a, a little groove in it. I'll show you what I mean. So I'll just mark a line across there. And I'm just going to make a little groove in it. Let's try that. So that goes in there, and then this goes right here. And it just sits in the hand. Shoots it in the hand, just like that. So if I hold that up there, and then if I set it in the hand and push it against the body a little bit, it kind of just sits there. So that's how you can. That's kind of how you make the hand. I'll make it just a little bit deeper. And obviously, if you're doing a sort of display piece or something, you would just glue that into place. Once you've got it all set, you glue it into place. But I'll yes, just Stephen, it's, it's, it's hashtag Witch Week. It is indeed. It is indeed. Can you fancy turning a witch and taking a picture of it and send it to uh, SK Crafts? Then you'll get included in the video he's going to make. Videos need to be in by... Which is just being by Saturday. A little bit of super glue on there. And I'll just set the hand. Use this to kind of give me a guide where I need the hand to be. Probably about there somewhere. And uh, we'll just wait a second. In fact, I'll not wait too long. Just spray that. There we go. Now, you'll see that you, the hand, the arm is not quite matching there. But we can just play with that with a little Dremel and just blend that in a bit better so as it works. This Woodwork hand is going to hold the cauldron. Woodwork Learner is saying, uh, does Joe have any spare, or are you going to make her make her broom from scratch? <laughs> I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a broom just oh, to say. the list, Andy. Andy's, uh, Andy's on the list now. Absolutely. Hmm. There's two of them. Stephen says, do axes count? <laughs> Amy said, does a photo of my mother work? It's a 
a bit of there. So we'll just go with that. Just stick that on. This just stick super glue or high viscosity super glue it says. I'm bloody thick, I can't get it squeezed out of the tube. Squeeze that in. Get that out there a bit. Back there. Quick spray. That's the hands done. Now, let's go back over to this camera and I'll show you how to make a... Let's go back over here. I'll show you how to make the broom. So we need to change chucks again. If I can get this one off, bit of a pain. There we go. Work that time. Take that out. Remove said chuck. Screw it on the wall on my nice uh, chuck mounts that I have made from my good friend Steve at SK Cross. I'll let you see them in a minute. And we'll just pop this in these jaws. The only problem with record power jaws or record power chucks is. They've got a different chuck key for every damn chuck. <laughs> so the SC4 has got an 8mm um, Allen key style chuck. The SC3 has got this size chuck or chuck key. And the smaller um, 2.5 inch one, it's the SC2, I think it's called, Two. has got a different design again. I uh, have no idea why they did that. Maybe it was just cheap and cheerful. Uh, Axman should make exactly the same mistake. Crazy. Maybe that's just to sell more stuff, I don't know. Well, I think so the, um, the Spines chuck key is cheaper to make the chuck for. Yeah, okay. So the cheaper chucks tend to have those. But it's annoying. Yeah, uh, in the extreme. So we'll just lock Jean's this up again. Go. Nice work, Brian. Bye. Jean's good. Thank you, Jane. Bye, Bye Jane. Jane. So just round this off quickly. Bye, Joe's still in the chat. Bye, Joe. Well done for not falling asleep. Yeah. Glad Glenn enjoyed your singing. I've got two little marks on my uh, uh, two rest. Overhead. Brian, overhead, please, mate. Oh, sorry. There you go. Two little marks, so I know what length I'm going to make it. And then I just need to make it thinner this end. Oops. Take your time, big lad. Take it easy. Plenty of time. Maybe you got to go. It's after midnight there, so. Yeah. Good night, guys, in Australia. Hi, Thanks Amy. for coming in. I really Amy. appreciate Bye -bye. it, guys. We'll soon be getting to the stage. We'll be seeing these guys in the spring again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of weeks now, the clock's changed, it gets even worse then. Yep. Yeah, that will start turning at nine in the morning. So I'm just making a kind of cove shape at this end. And just bringing the shaft on down to a point, roughly to a point. I won't go too thin until you turn the other end. Yep. So we'll turn that out in a minute. So. We'll make the broom that length. So we'll just do a little bit of a, I need to lower that tool rest just a fraction. 
right there. So that's where the, the broom handle will come in. And then here, we'll just reduce this a little bit, so it's just a little bit too big. I know that's an uphill cut. Doesn't matter. But it's only on pine, it's not going to do any harm. So just push the fibers on up using the heel of the skew. Not like you would do a Christmas tree. And that gives us a kind of broom shape. And now we can thin out the handle to where we need it. We're turning by Barry's just joining us. Hello, Barry. Hi, Barry. Hey. Welcome along, buddy. The truck learners are asking, bit off topic, but what's the easiest wood to make crimbo trees? Pine. Free wood. Pine. Yeah, free wood. Pine. Whatever Fair. you want. Yeah. Prefer, cedar. Preferably a light wood. Um, light softwood. Children can paint them. Sycamore is good if you can get uh, sort of two inch branches. A cheap pine if you get out of it, you know. Lewis, Lewis is in. Join us. Oh, Lewis. Hi, Lewis. Hi, Lewis. Hi, Lewis. He's on the road. He's on the road. He's... he's not on the road again, is he? Yeah. On the road again. How did the concrete pour go, Lewis? Lewis is pouring concrete today. I don't know if he's done it yet or not, but... So I'm just trying to make this thinner now up towards the end. I mean, it's just a cheap piece of pine, guys, that I'm doing this with, so I've got to take it easy a little bit or it'll just break. He's not pouring until this afternoon in his country. All right, okay. Oh, of course, he's a good bit behind us or in front. Behind. They're behind, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Five hours, I think. In the rightful place behind us. Five hours behind us. So the only thing you need to re uh, really think about here is how wide is the hand? Because the hand has to be able to grasp it a little bit, remember? Mm. <coughs> Chris Dodge just said this is spooky. There was just an ad on the TV for the witch's movie. Yeah, so about this month it brings them out of the woodwork. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? The witches of Eastwick and stuff will be on shortly. Mm. Yep. Again. <laughs> Again, yeah. So I don't know if you can see I've left a little bulge here. Yeah. You know. mm. As if it was the yeah, wood said it's four hours difference to where he is. Four hours. Standing a lot of vibration there now, so I'll just, I'll just hold it off the other end before you get too thin. Might snap out. That's that's a good. Well, I could always cut it in a saw, but I will. I'll cut it down here, but. I just use V cuts to get down there. You're on about uh, mnemonics. Remember stuff earlier. I always know which way the time the clock goes because east is early. Mm. Ah, Michelle is be home from work. By the look of it, hey, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Oh, there's the, oh, there's the in America, spring forward and fall back. Yep. I was just saying how thirsty he was. And... Yeah. He said yeah. he should be a cup of tea here soon with the biscuit. I made, I made my cup of tea before I came out and I forgot to bring it out. I was that excited yeah. to come in and entertain you guys. Brian, you better put that in your tool away just in case Michelle comes in with a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Pete. Oops, sorry. I shouldn't have said that, should I? Yeah, no. God, it wasn't me this time. Yeah. Particularly when she's just put her name in the chat. It's kind of you. There we go. That's not enough. Not doing anything on that. Just signed it now. Mm. 
I think it shouldn't be Lewis as miserable to get getting, anything. Go ahead, Lewis, Lewis is working what? on getting two. Lewis is working on getting two full butternut trees. Ooh. Lovely. <laughs> Wonder what butternuts like the turn. Beautiful. Well, I've if he's looking to get two of... trees, I'll suggest it'd be a good thing. <laughs> I've seen him do a couple of butternut pieces on his channel. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, it's, it's a very, very, very pretty wood. Has Lewis got a premiere tonight, by the way? You got a premiere, Lewis, tonight? No. Monday yeah. nights. Just checking. Monday night. Michelle says you'll right. have to wait, Brian. I'll have to wait? No, okay. Fair enough. You do. Right, so I'm just going to try and pop this off completely at this end without this end snap. <laughs> hmm. Catch you with the stem then. With your hand. Well, I might do actually. I'll just I'll pop it off at this end. And saw it off the other. And saw the other end off. There you go. That's 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 through at that end. It didn't actually fall off because the compression kept it in there. There we go. I just twist that off. It's good. <sighs> Quick little bit of something on that. <laughs> So back to the service camera now. We're back over here. And that's what the broom looks like. Need to tidy up the sand. I'll just sit in there now, hopefully. There we go. And the cauldron will need a handle made. And then we'll just get the gear. We'll just hang it on this hand. And that's the witch made. So if I just take this over here. Set up beside this girl over here. Set the two of them together. And the, there's a reason I've made two witches in a week. Because my sister, who makes my smokes, decided she wants one. Let me just change this camera over to here. Mm -hmm. Up a wee bit. Up a wee bit. There we go. Yep. So there's the two witches, guys. Now, this little bit here. Just take it off. Put that put on it. A little bit in the bottle. They'll obviously look like kind of foaming green potion or whatever it's going to be. It was Terry's idea. And basically, it's just a piece of tissue with some, <laughs> tri with, some uh, with a little bit of um, what is that green colour? Chestnut iridescent green. I think I'll just get that. Chestnut, this. There's a little bit of that chestnut iridescent green. Kind of dripped over it, crunched up a wee bit so it left some white bits. And that's how that worked. So we did that. And this is just tight enough to keep this together. Yeah. I'm just going to make a broom. So you Terry can see that this, this broom has done the same sort of technique, just put it down and just spray it. So you can colour it any way you like. But there we go. Turn that one around so you can see that a bit better. Yeah. There you go. There we go, guys. That's how you make a witch. Now, this, this hat comes off. And all it did was undercut it and took it off. So as I could have one with a joint game and one with a straight elbow. There we go. I don't any questions on that, how that worked, There's how we did that. Cup of tea on the pin for you. Ah, she's a star. Nick, you're here. Probably a biscuit as well. Oh, it's better than a biscuit today. Better than a biscuit. Yeah, look yeah. at that. That's an arrow. An arrow. Look at that. She's good to me. There we go, guys. Let me bring my earrings back in again. <laughs> Where are you? Lost the mouse again. And he's uh, working yeah. his way up the list. He said it looks like the supermarket. There we go. If Joe was making it for him. <laughs> All right. There we go, guys. And just to prove that the uh, 
The workshop was Say not hello, David no. Vaughan. He's just come in. Hello, David. Hi, David. Hi, David. Oh, you just missed it. Hi, David. David. Almost goodbye, David. I, I'll show you the. I'll show you the end piece, look. Just so as you can see, look, there is shavings on the floor. Oh, the <gasps> does get dirty occasionally. Another, another three hours <laughs> for, in the workshop. Yeah, for David's benefit, that's what we've done today. There's not that many shavings there, really. No, no there's not, because <laughs> it was clean before I started. That's why there's not so many. Ah, let me go back to the webcam. So that's the trick. <sighs> there we go, guys. We're done. Hope you enjoyed that. Well done, Brian. Some inspiration to be in the uh, Looking forward to seeing everybody. Hashtag match with pictures. Internet connection. Well, my microphone's gone all metal, Mickey. Yeah, okay, your microphone's gone funny, but. Sorry, guys. Well, Mickey. That's a good warlock. Exterminate. There's a break here. Okay, yeah, Michelle's jumped on the internet, so. <laughs> All right, guys, let's uh, call it a day. So it's goodbye from Terry. Goodbye. Goodbye from Mark. Bye bye. And goodbye from Pete. Bye, all. Thanks for all That's, joining. And it's goodbye for me. Thanks for coming in, guys. And we'll see you all again. Please on tonight, everybody. Scott. Scott, Scott, I think, yeah, yeah. Scott, Blue Light Donner, or, or Andy, or whoever covers for Scott if he's not there. Um, and tomorrow is Wayne Wayne at Wayne. lunchtime. And SK Crafts tomorrow evening. And our, our good friend Steve at SK Crafts tomorrow evening. And the weekend can look after itself. Um, we'll be back. We'll all be back next week anyway, guys. So keep an eye open for us on your notifications. All right, guys. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.